Good evening. This is Carolyn, and welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. We are doing, um, it's all about the base, and so we are, we created 20 base pages, and then the first 20 days of November, we make layouts out of those 20 base pages. So this is layout number six, I believe. So um, this was the base page that I created. Um, I just had this cup file that had been laying around in my drawer for a long time. And so I decided to use it and that's what we're gonna do. So I am going to scrap this picture of my daughter's wedding. This is just the whole group and it's really, it's terrible. I, I tell you what happened to the pictures. We hired a professional um, photographer, of course, but it was a destination wedding down on this river where they went all the time with his family for all the years that they were dating uh, every summer. And so that's where they wanted to get married. And so the florist there told us, oh, yes, there's this wonderful photographer. And so we hired her. She was not wonderful. I do have pictures from her, but actually the pictures from just people's cameras are better than hers. I had my camera, and this is before we took pictures on cell phones, but I had my camera, and um, it ended up getting stolen. So needless to say, I got no wedding pictures, um, really. So of my own. And I had all of us decorating. Oh, I had, I just had it all. And so it just still turns my stomach to think about the fact that I lost all the pictures that I had. But it is what it is. And we do have pictures and I can document it. And that was in 2011. And I'm just now documenting her wedding. So anyway, and they're very happily married, have four little boys. Okay, so um, I did a kind of double mat my picture with really tiny little mats in a maroon and then in a light pink. And this is, um, I don't even know what this is. And I think I put it away. This is a, oh, I'll try to find it in a minute. I, I, I'll, I forgot who this, who this is. Um, I don't think it says on the back of any of these what it is. No, it doesn't. I'll try to find the package in a minute. I have it packed with some other things. Um, so anyway, I'm going to just dive into this. So I'm using my base page that I made, and um, I'm using these uh, <laughs> embellishments this ephemera from a little ephemera pack that I bought that I can't remember um, what it is, but I'll try to do that. I'm going to just very, 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 very lightly do a little bit of inking around the edge of this picture mat. And this is totally not my wheelhouse. Like all of these pastels, I don't do a lot of pastels, but I thought for this wedding picture it'd be pretty. And I'm not going to do an album where everything is from a collection or anything like that. I'm just going to scrapbook it. I don't even know what I've got. And I'm just going to go through different, um, like, little pen drives and things that different people sent me and pull some pictures, and that's all it'll be. I mean, I'll do some of the professional photographer's pictures, too, but I w we were just really disappointed in what her stuff was. All right, so I think that just kind of helps separate it a little bit, but I didn't want to overdo it. And I'm going to do the same with this, and I'm going to cover this bird up. Now, I realize these colors are not really the same, but I want I liked this little frame, and so I'm going to use it. The, really, all of the colors are in that frame, so it doesn't really matter. And they're very pastel, so it's not like things just jump out at you. Okay, there's that. Let me close my ink before I 
mess that up. And I'm just going to kind of start playing with some of this. I, I think I want to double this up, something like that. And then I'm just going to start putting the picture on there. And then I've got the other things that uh, went with this. I cannot get over this little bit of horse that I've got going on. Had it for kind of like a week. I want that centered a little better. So I know I want that in the middle. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just do that. While I'm kind of putting a couple of these things down, let me go ahead and do the twist. The twist tonight, I don't have specific scripture. I'm just going to tell you where scripture's found in uh, Matthew chapter 10 and in John chapter 15. These are uh, some of the places where Jesus was telling his disciples that the world hated him and because of that, it would hate them and it would mistreat and persecute them. And it basically says that in both of those Gospels. And so my point tonight is the world does not like Christians because the world is sinful and we try to stand against sin. And so Satan is the prince of this world. Satan is the prince of sin. And he loves sin, and he wants us to sin. And so if he can get us to sin, and or he can harm us or whatever, then that's how he gets back at God. Satan was an angel, and he got expelled from heaven because he wanted to be like God. And so ever since, his goal has been to hurt God, just to hurt God. And the best way that he can hurt God, because he doesn't have the authority to actually actually hurt God, he doesn't have that authority or that power. And so the way that he can hurt God is to hurt God's children, and that's us. And so we have to understand that, that's, that it isn't people or it isn't even Satan that hates us that much. We're just collateral damage for what he wants to do to hurt God because of, of his rebellion against God. So the next time something's happened and you think it's, you remember who your real enemy is. The real enemy is Satan, and Satan's goal is to hurt God, and we are what he uses to do that. I want this big flower right up here, but I'm thinking I want it up on foam tape. I'm going to I'm going to do some dimension on this one. Um it's kind of a important page. I've got another page where I'm doing of her and her dad. Um that's I think going to be real sweet too, but um but this page is just and, and I mean there we're not even all looking at the camera. My husband's standing sideways like looking at her. Her husband's Heads down, my daughter-in-law's doing something with her dress. My nephew's looking back at my other nephew. I mean, it's like, but you know what? It's what we've got. It's what we've got. And so I got to work with what I got. That's all I can do. I'm looking at my little niece right there. And she's in her second year of vet school now. <laughs> so this is uh, 2011. Just going to have to kind of, I, I kind of have the, the things I want to use. And we're just going to have to decide where to put them and kind of how to put them to do this. I was just sick. We had... Um, that her wedding was just so beautiful. You can see how beautiful the grass is, and there's the river, and these just gigantic trees, and we had all the white chairs, and the aisle was lined with um, white, um, oh, what do you call that material? The white see-through foil, foil. Um, anyway, like kind of like, you know, what her veil is out of. 
<clears throat> and then we had candles, uh, s like hundreds, <laughs> it looked like, of candles that, you know, were down each side of that aisle. And it was, oh, it was just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then there was this really neat place just right down the road, a venue for the, um, for the reception. And, um, yeah, it was just, it was so pretty. But the girls that did the music, I had given them, I had taken pictures, you know, all the way up to the wedding. And then, of course, I was going to be in the wedding. And, um, and so the girls that were doing the music, I gave them my camera and I told them to, you know, keep taking pictures. And so they did. And, um, and then when it was time to leave to go to the venue, we all left and the girls that were doing the music thought, well, she'll come back by. We'll leave her camera for her to get. And so they left the camera on the table back where they were doing all of the music stuff. And when we got back that night, late that night, um, someone evidently who had been coming down the river, because you can float the river and all that kind of stuff. It's down, it's the Frio River down by Leakey, I think is how it said, Texas. Someone evidently had like floated the river because we had the whole place, this uh, place where we stayed, had cabins of all kinds and all that kind of stuff. And so we had the entire place uh, rented. So there wasn't anyone there, but, you know, people attending the wedding. But um, but you the, there could still be people floating the river and that type of thing. And so um, evidently someone did. And they had, like, turned over the chairs and the tables. And, you know, there wasn't anything left of value there other than my camera and they stole the camera like i mean it's like you can have the camera just turn the disc in you know just or bring it back when you realize that it had wedding pictures on it and say we found this and it looked like it was here and take it to the office i mean they could have done anything but they didn't Ooh, i think i want that in under that this one, it has foam on it. It was made that way, but um, I'm going to see if I can get this flower in under that one. It doesn't want to come off of there. These are <laughs> not new, I'll just tell you. Um, I mean, they're not real old. I haven't had them too terribly long, but that's not wanting to come off of the... There, it's coming off of the release paper. I think I want that under that, like that, maybe. I may have another one that I could put um, up here, too. Let's, I'm not going to just really, I'm just going to lay that there, and we'll see. We will just see. So, I've, I don't have a whole lot of stuff, but... Um, is kind of pretty like that though I do like that let me see because I've got this that I wrote the date on that I was going to just put down here and that would kind of make three clusters but I really wanted um, a flower down here here's some leaves we can tuck those leaves in but I really wanted a flower down there here's one it's kind of small Get it picked up. That doesn't really show, does it? Hmm. This may be too small for up there. And the only other one I have is this big one like this. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see if I can get it off. It's not wanting to come off of this release paper real good. There it comes. But I was just sick when I lost my camera. And there were some cute little pictures of my friend's little granddaughter um, had um, 
Casey had her shoes. Her, uh, you can't see her shoes. Of course, her dress was just kind of a off-white, actually. And, but she had like bright green shoes like were in her, um, in her bouquet. And, and they were sitting over to the side before she put them on. And, and my friend's little granddaughter was putting them on and walking down the aisle like she was the bride. And it was so cute. No, I don't think, I don't want, that's the same color as that. Let's see if we can get this one under here so that I can use um, this one, I think, down there. Let's see if we can, I think maybe we can make that work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yes, I like that. Okay, and then that'll leave me that one down here to use with that. So, okay, this is down. And I've got like some little butterflies and things that I thought I might do something with. Um, let's see what else is down here. But anyway, I, I've got this down and that's definitely where I want that. So let's go ahead and get this. I think I had better, even though it's, I think I had better put some glue on this. They're sticky, but I don't trust them. So just a little bit of glue. But her wedding was just so, so beautiful. My son got married on the um, 14th of March of 2011. And my daughter got married on the 14th of May in 2011. So I was kind of a busy mama. And my daughter-in-law and my daughter were living together. Uh, my daughter had a little house just right down the road from us. And so um, my daughter-in-law had moved here and was teaching here um, before she and my son got married. And they were roommates. And then when um, Josh and Amy, my son and daughter-in-law, got married like a month before um, my daughter and son-in-law did, but they bought... Casey's house because Mark already had a house. So, um, Casey <laughs> lived with them <laughs> after they were married, like for two months. Um, she actually stayed at our house more than she did at there, but because she had the master bedroom and of course she had given that up to them. But, um, it was really, it was all worked out really good because them buying her house, she didn't need her house anymore, you know, getting married. And so um, they bought her house and it was literally just like two miles, not even two miles down the road from our house. We all still live real close together. I love it. <clears throat> Let's see, I want this under that. And then I may put that flower up on foam. This one's coming together really fast, but it's a one picture and and not much. Um, I may need to move that. So I probably had better get it up before it that glue totally dries. So I may need to move that. I think I need it a little more like that. Okay. I love how this had all of these colors in it so that I could use everything. And really the only, I mean, you know, I used that maroon, but she had maroon flowers in her wedding. And so I used that to back the picture to kind of tie it. But, and these are almost like, you know, it gets fairly dark in there. But that's... I like it anyway, and I guess that's all that matters. And I'm the only one that has to like it. Well, I hope she likes it because it's her wedding, going to be her wedding pictures, but um, she won't care. Okay, let's put that up there. And I'm not going to ink these. I want to keep them the real pastel. I just wanted a little bit of ink around that just so 
those back kind of foundation pieces would show up. Okay, and I've got this one other little flower if I haven't lost it. What did I do with that other little flower? Where'd it go? There it is. Nope, that's the butterfly. Oh, here it is. That I can do something with if I want. No, that's definitely not it. <clears throat> but I am thinking I may put a little butterfly or something right up there. I really just don't think I need this little flower anywhere. I think that's how I want it. And then I've got, um, let's see. I thought I had a teensy, teensy, tiny. I know I did. I think I've just, I was kind of piddling with this stuff and I think I, nope, there it is. I had this teensy, teensy, tiny little butterfly that I thought I might put right there on that flower and then this one right up there. And then I think I'm gonna do, I've got some sequins and I have some pink rhinestones. And I'm gonna see about maybe um, doing a little bit with them. And then I think that's gonna be it. And like I said, this is totally not my normal style with the pastels and that kind of stuff, but I like it. Okay, and the only thing I put on this one is just the date. I mean, I think it's kind of evident that it's her wedding. And I, I'm i gonna have like an official wedding picture. I will use that and I'll put you know, something on it, but I think that's, all right, let's see what we've got here. I've got these sequins that um, I can use if I want to. I for sure want to use some of these um, little jewels, though. Uh, not jewels, but rhinestones. And they're pink, so. I can tell which side is up. I don't think my thumbnail's ever gonna finish growing off. Okay, that's right side up. And that's right side up. It's hard to tell on these. And let's get another one for up there. That is right side up. Now that may not be where I leave them, but I think I want those up there, and maybe one over there, and let's see, that's six. Hmm. Maybe like that. It's kind of what I'm thinking. I may put these a little closer together and move them up just a little. All right, let's do it. turned back over. Every time I start doing a video, my dog decides to bark. <laughs> Every time. Okay, there's those. Let's get this one. There's that one, and then these. 
and I guess that's okay. I'm, I'm not totally impressed with those, but I don't really know what else I would do with them, so I guess that's it. Do I want them like that, or do I want them like that? No, I think I like them better like that. Maybe like that. Okay. All right. That's how it's going to be. And I don't think I'm going to use any of the sequins. I don't, I like, I think I just like those, those rhinestones. And I think that's going to be it. So I have one picture of my daughter's wedding done. <laughs> Good, bad, or indifferent. I've got it done. And I have day six of All About the Base. And so uh, in the description, you will find links to all of the other people that made 20 base pages and doing 20 layouts in 20 days. This is so much fun. And if you haven't been watching these other creators, you are missing out because they are amazing. Some of these base pages are so pretty and then what they do with them. Uh, because you don't know what pictures you're going to put on them. But it was fun, and I loved doing it, and I really hadn't done base pages before. So it was really a, it was a good challenge, and I've enjoyed it. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for dropping by. Have a blessed day, and be a blessing to someone else.